So this is going to be a tutorial on how to diagnose issues with a GE high efficiency belt drive washing machine with the lid open and with the lid switch still engaged so you should be able to watch the draining and spin cycles. The first thing that you're going to want to do is to open your lid. This is a GE GTW 465 and on some models depending on how old it is you may either have a fixed static piece like this or you may have a spring-loaded latch which can move up and down. The principles of how to get this device off the lid into there and get it to work is the same. In case you're not familiar with how these lid switches work, how they work is that there is either a mag, this component here is either magnetic or there is a some sort of sensor which is able to detect when it is present. In this case, this is a magnet and this hole here is a lock which the locking pin is able to travel through and lock the lid from moving up and down. On some washers there will be a star head, some will have a triangle. In this case GE makes it very easy with a standard Phillips head screw. Inside this lid lock is where we're going to place the lid when we are done or more over the lid switch. So what you can do is take your standard Phillips head screwdriver and go ahead and unscrew these two screws here and then from there you can slide the switch out and you'll be able to insert it into the hole here. Now that you have the two screws out what you can go ahead and do is grab the top of the lid lock and slide it down and out of the slot on the lid that it goes in like that. Sometimes it may be more difficult than others. Here's a part number on that. There we go. And what you will do is take this and insert it into the hole like that. Stick it straight in. On some you may need to hold it However, it is the same principle of operation. So what we'll go ahead and do now is I'll demonstrate first without the lid, the lid lock on there. So we'll go ahead and turn our knob to drain and spin. We'll go ahead and push start. You'll notice it's not doing anything. What we can then do is insert the lid lock in, and you should hear a click, and then it should start. There you go. Now it's locked, locked, and clamped in on the. Now we will begin to spin. Now in this case, you can diagnose problems such as a bad suspension, bad motor, bad mode shifter, any variety of problems which could be caused while the washing machine is spinning and the lid is locked so you're not able to see what's going on. Good make sure it is working. Here we go.
machine has now reached full high speed spin speed. And in this we can see that this washing machine may need to be leveled just a tad bit more as there appears to be a little bit of play room for the machine to shake back and forth. However, we can see that the tub is in the center. There's no excessive vibrations, at least, or shaking at the bottom. Typically, washers with bad suspension, the bottom will tend to start bouncing around like that. However, this washing machine does not have that problem. As it is brand new and two weeks old at the most. One slight annoyance with this washer is that there seem to be various clicking and tapping noises, some of which do not appear to be present anymore. And if we look on the display, The lid is still locked and as you can actually see in there, there's a prong. And now the door has been released. So there you go, that's how to diagnose any problems or to get a better look of, at what your GE, Whirlpool, or any of these other washing machines is doing during the spin cycle. If you're not already familiar with lid locks, lid switches, and all sorts of other Lockouts on doors of appliances. There you go.